Here we're going to do a review of Excel formulas. Sometimes when you're producing statistics, there are additional things you might want that you can generate by the use of a formula, especially those that are not available, for example, in the descriptive statistics like you see here for monthly food expenses. For example, if we wanted to produce the first quartile of Q1, that is not in the descriptive statistics. So we could go into the cell of our choice and start typing the equal sign and first few letters of that function. You'll see some options appear. And you can click on that. It will give you some detail about how that function works. And you may also use the help feature in either Google Sheets or Excel. And that will give you an overview of how to use that function, some examples of using that function, as you see down there. And you'll also see a description of what each of the arguments need to be. For example, for this function, you first need to input the data, and then the second entry needs to be the quartile number you are seeking. So let's go to our data over here, and highlight that first for the first argument. You'll see that appear in the function parentheses, then a comma, and we're looking for quartile one, so we'll enter a one and then enter. We see the first quartile there. We can double click on that cell to review what the formula was. Then there are other times where we might want to use various things in our sheet to program a formula to compute something that we need, such as the mean minus two standard deviations. If we wanted to do that, notice we have the mean and standard deviation given in our descriptive statistics table. So we can reference those by first typing an equal sign, then clicking on the mean cell. Notice these three popped up in our formula bar. Enter a minus sign and a two, shift eight for asterisk or times, and then click on the cell containing the standard deviation. Notice the color coding there. You can verify that all of your inputs are correct. Then press enter. And there we have the lower bound on a competence interval, essentially, that is spanning two standard deviations from the means. Again, you can double click into that cell to check the formula at any time. And that has been a review of the simple use of Excel formulas to help you obtain the statistics you need.